Middle East. So now let's go to our Jerusalem Bruce, uh, Bureau. Uh, jo Dory Gold, I should say, is president of the Jerusalem Center for Public Affairs and an advisor to Israeli Prim Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. We appreciate you joining us. Uh, first of all, just want to get your reaction to this exclusive interview that we had uh, and you know, this comment that the destruction of tunnels there is unacceptable. Well, it's remarkable that Khaled Mashal makes that kind of a statement. You know, anybody can just go to the website of the U.S. Department of State, which was critically involved in negotiating uh, this last ceasefire, which Hamas violated. And if you go to the website, you can see Secretary of State John Kerry's statement with respect to the uh, ceasefire. He makes it very clear. I mean, there's not even room for a doubt that Israel would be allowed to destroy the attack tunnels coming out of the Gaza Strip and going into its territory. That was something that was worked on, that was something that was worked out, that was something that was agreed to. So for Khaled Mashal to go on CNN and say, no, that was never part of the agreement, is a real revisionist history and something everybody who's involved in this knows is untrue. If you could also talk to us just about the images that everyone has seen about the, the victims there in the Gaza Strip, um, how is that being perceived there in Israel? Well, obviously, when civilian losses occur, there's something that terribly bothers Israelis who see this. But we also know where the blame lies. Who launched this war? It was Hamas. It was Khalid Mashal sitting in his luxurious suites in uh, Qatar telling the Hamas military to attack us. Moreover, it wasn't just this, uh, um, uh, the initial attack. It was an entire infrastructure set up to aggressively attack the people of Israel. I mean, what are attack tunnels about? They are an effort to uh, create a, a, an attack option by Hamas operatives to come underground into Israeli territory, pop up, kidnap uh, children, kidnap civilians, attack our soldiers as well. So basically, we are responding to aggression. We are the defenders. They are the aggressors. Now, we hope that the international community will work with us, will work with others to help rehabilitate the Gaza Strip. Gaza could become a very successful area. It could be completely different. But that rehabilitation of Gaza requires, at the same time, a demilitarization of Gaza. We don't want, you know, bags of concrete, cement coming into Gaza and then being used to rebuild the tunnels and bunkers that were used to, uh, for the uh, aggressive plans of Hamas against Israel. So we will work for the rehabilitation of Gaza, but in parallel, we have to work for the demilitarization of Gaza. So in this conflict, just given your conversations with people there in Jerusalem, um, what is the next step? Is it a matter of Israel determining that it has completed its mission? Or is it a matter of finding some sort of a truce uh, between these different parties? What, what is the next step, do you presume? You know, right now we have gone through, I don't know, six, seven uh, ceasefire agreements that Hamas violated or didn't even accept. And therefore, right now, we're pursuing a, uh, a, an approach in which Israel uh, redeploys, uh, puts its military in positions that allow it to defend its vital security interests and uh, create an uh, improved overall security situation. Now, I want to stress one point here. If Hamas comes out victorious in this uh, confrontation, and it won't, but if it did, the whole world is watching this. Hamas has allies in the Sinai Peninsula which are, have been threatening the Egyptian state. It has allies in the Syrian civil war that are watching what is going on. What we want to do is deal a blow to this whole jihadist trend. We want to provide security for Israel, but Hamas has to understand, and its allies have to understand, that using violence against the people of Israel will not work. Dory Gold, the president of the Jerusalem Center for Public Affairs, with the Israeli perspective on this conflict, we appreciate uh, your in insight here on this uh, situation. If you want to watch CNN's exclusive interview with Hamas 